Hi everyone, today we're going to take a look at the best 300 system AOCPU cooler in the market for this year. First we're going to show you our top 10 best picks, and we'll talk about what you'd look for before buying a 300 system AOCPU cooler. You can find links to all of the products we've mentioned in this video down in the description below. Let's get started. At the first position of our list, we of course are IQ Hone 150. If you're looking for one of the most efficient and best performing CPU coolers, then look no further than Corsair's IQ Hone 150. This AO cooler is compatible with both newer Intel and AMD platforms, comes with three of Corsair's M Lone 120 PWM fans, features RGB lighting on the pump head, comes with a five year warranty, and offers ultra quiet fan operation. The 3M Lone 120PWM fans can reach up to speeds of 2400 RPM and have noise levels ranging from 1037 dBA depending on your CPU load. However, through Corsair's IQ software, the fans can also shut off completely during lower loads, which will help eliminate noise levels. Overall, in terms of cooling performance and noise level, you'd be hard-pressed to find a better 360 MA on the market. So, if you're looking for the best option possible, we'd recommend going with the Corsair IQ Hone 150. Moving on to the next at number 2 with NZXT Kraken X73. Another well-performing 306M AO is NZXT's Kraken X73. The Kraken X73 doesn't quite hit the same max band speed as the Corsair IQ Hone 150, and it isn't quite as quiet either. However, the difference in performance and sound level is minimal at best. And, the Kraken X73 does come in at a few bucks cheaper. Furthermore, in terms of aesthetics, if the Corsair IQ Hone 150's white fan blades would clash with your setup, the Kraken X73's all-black design might be a better option. The Kraken X73 also comes with a bit longer of a warranty, six years for the Kraken versus five years for the Hone 150. But, in the grand scheme of things, it's hard to imagine system builders who are willing to spend tilde $150 on an AO cooler not upgrading, replacing, or rebuilding their system within that time frame. But, ultimately, if you prefer the all-black design of the Kraken X73, or you happen to catch it on sale for a significant discount, it is a solid alternative option to Corsair IQ Hone 150. The number 3 position is held by Cooler Master Master Liquid ML360. If you're looking for a 360 AU that comes with 3 RGB fans, you have a handful of options. For tilde $140, you can get Cooler Master's Master Liquid ML360. The Master Liquid ML360 sports triple Cooler Master M Phone 120 ARG fans. And, while the Master Liquid ML360 doesn't offer quite the same cooling performance as the two options below, the performance difference is not significant. And, considering it comes in at about tilde $20, $25 cheaper than both of those options, and it comes with three RGB fans, which cost nearly tilde $20 a piece on their own, you're getting a pretty good deal. The RGB fans can hit speeds of up to 2000 RPMS and they operate at a noise level ranging between 630 dBA depending on your CPU load. The bottom line, though, is that as long as you're not looking to eke out every ounce of cooling performance and you're looking for an option that will offer three RGB fans, in addition to an RGB lit pump head, then the Cooler Master Master Liquid ML360 is an excellent option for your needs. Next at number 4, we have Thermaltake TH360 ARC. One other 360 AO cooler with RGB fans that is worth mentioning is Thermaltake's TH360 ARC cooler. At just under tilde $120, it is easily one of the more affordable 360 AO coolers out there, although, the Deepcool Captain 360X listed below is even cheaper. That's pretty remarkable considering it comes with three RGB fans. The downside, However, is that it isn't as competitive in terms of cooling performance and noise levels as some of the other options on this list. The included fans can only hit speeds of up to 1500 RPM and the noise level averages at about tilde 28 dBA. Neither of those features are terrible, but they do make the TH360 lag behind the other options on this list. Still, though tilde $120, for 360 AO with 3 RGB fans is a solid deal especially for people who aren't planning on doing any kind of serious overclocking. 
or for people who just want solid cooling and more RGB lighting for a moderate price. The number 5 position is held by Deepcool Captain 360X. While most 360A coolers cost at least till to $120, Deepcool's Captain 360X comes in at just under till to $90. That is a huge difference in cost. And, while the Captain 360X isn't going to offer quite the same cooling performance as some of the options higher up on this list, it will definitely offer cooling performance that is adequate for the majority of users. The other feature of the Captain 360X that may either turn some people away or attract certain people to it is its white design. While white AO might not look great in all cases, for those gamers who are looking to build a white-themed gaming PC, it would be the perfect addition. So, in the end, if you're looking for an extremely affordable 360M AO to pair with a budget gaming PC build, or if you're looking for a white 360M AO to pair with your white theme system, then the Deepcool Captain 360 X is probably your best bet. The number 6 position is dominated by Arctic Liquid Freezer. While many AO coolers feature RGB lights, Arctic's Liquid Freezer Roman 2 line of coolers completely foregoes them. The Arctic Liquid Freezer Roman 2 360 is the 306 entry in this lineup and, like its cousins, offers insane performance at a great price. Of course, some may see the lack of RGB LEDs as a downside. They basically dominate the CPU accessory market, but to many their luster is beginning to wear off. The Arctic Liquid Freezer Roman 2 360 is still a great looking cooler, boasting a matte black paint job and stylish pump head that looks like something out of a science fiction movie. The pump head even features a small Fordham fan, indicating Arctic's desire to prize function over form. As for socket compatibility, the Arctic Liquid Freezer Roman 2 360 is a little bit more limited when compared to other 306 MAO coolers. As far as AMD processors go, it's only compatible with the AMD Amphor. The Liquid Freezer is a little more accepting on the Intel side of things, readily interfacing with the LGA 1200, 115, the Square Ilm 2011 3, and the Square Ilm 2066 sockets. Performance-wise, the Arctic Liquid Freezer Roman 2 360 sits at the top of the class. While the smaller Liquid Freezer variants all boasted performance that was the best in their class, the 360M Arctic falls just short of that mark. In a test performed on an Intel Iceman 6700, the Liquid Freezer Roman 2 360 cooled the PC to 52.5 dec under load, good enough for third place behind two variations of the Thermaltake Flow Ryan 360. When the Iceman was overclocked, the Arctic continued to cool efficiently, keeping the PC at 68.5 deg under load. Again, it trailed the flow rying, but it was only about 2 degrees off the lead in both tests. However, the most impressive thing about the Arctic Liquid Freezer Roman 2 360 is the near-silent operation of its fans. It's one of the quietest 360 AEO coolers out there, and nothing matches its thermal and acoustic performance combined. This Arctic is also an insane value coming in at the cost of the average 200 Fordham cooler, and features a two-year warranty from the manufacturer. Overall, the Arctic Liquid Freezer Roman 2 360 represents an incredible value. It features top cooling performance, silent operation, top-notch build quality, all for more than a fair price. If you don't care for fancy RGB lights and only care for raw performance, quiet operation and value, then the Arctic Liquid Freezer Roman 2 360 is hands down the best 306 dim cooler you can currently buy. Moving on to the next at number 7 with Thermaltake Flow Ryan RGB 360 TT. The Thermaltake Flow Ryan RGB 360 TT Premium Edition boasts a full complement of RGB and is consistently the top performer in the 306 dim class. If you're looking for a stylish AO cooler that can cool the most powerful CPUS with ease, look no further. Thermaltake's RGB setup is second to none. The Flow Ryan features lights on its pump head and all three of its 120 fans. All the lights are incredibly vibrant and blend beautifully. Customization is easy as well, as you're able to control the RGB via Thermaltake's Ryan Plus software. The app is mostly good and offers complete control over the fans' RGB, but the lights on the pump head remain stuck in the rainbow setting. Additionally, You'll have control over the fan and pump speeds and the ability to change between cooling profiles. Thermaltake also offers a mobile app version of Ryan Plus, 
allowing you to control everything via your mobile device. This cooler is also is highly compatible and works with just about every major processor on the market. It's compatible with Intel sockets from the 775 to the 2066. It also supports most AMD sockets, from the Amtro to the TR4. The Flow Rings components are all of good quality and guarantee an easy installation. Its hoses are sleeved in braided nylon and measure 306 m, more than long enough for configuration in almost any tower. In addition, the hoses swivel easily, meaning you will have much easier time setting this cooler up and running. Its thermal plate is machined in a circular pattern that's highest in the middle, allowing for the maximum amount of pressure when mounted. Thermaltake has also pre-applied the thermal paste, so you won't need to get messy. Cooling performance is where the flow rying really shines. It scored the highest in a test performed on an Intel Iceman, beating out notable contenders like the Kraken X62. The Thermaltake cooled the Iceman to a lovely 51.5 deck under stock load. When the machine was overclocked, the Thermaltake topped the charts again, cooling the PC to just 66 deck. This test certainly indicates the Thermaltake Flow Rying RGB360 offers some of the best cooling capabilities in the 360 class. The number 8 position is held by NZXT Kraken 73. NZXT was amongst the first to outfit their AO coolers with LED displays, a trend that continues with the Kraken 73. While other coolers offer an RGB light setup on the pump head, NZXT turns up the volume and offers an LED screen on top of the 73's pump head. While the screen can display just about any image you'd want, it's at its best when it's used as a temperature readout. The rest of the cooler is completely blacked out aside from the lead pump head. It looks as intimidating as a PC cooler possibly can. However, the installation of the NZXT Kraken 73 isn't intimidating at all, provided your tower can accommodate a 360 radiator. The hoses are quite lengthy and the hose fittings and pump head swivel with ease, allowing for a variety of configurations. You'll have full control over the LED screen and cooler unit thanks to NZXT's CAM software. This software offers incredible control over your AO cooler. You can set the image for the LED screen, control pump, and fan speeds, and swap between cooling profiles. It's certainly one of the best cooler software out there. Temperature testing indicated that the NZXT Kraken 73 is a powerful performer. In a test performed on an Intel Icefin running a 4.2 GHz, the 73 kept the PC running at a temperature of 49.6 deg over ambient under load, matching the cooler Master Master Liquid ML360. Notably, the Kraken outperformed the Alpha Cool Icestorm Hurricane, a custom cooling setup, and the older Kraken 72. Acoustically, the NZXT Kraken 73 didn't fare as well. It was the loudest cooler in the test, with its three 120 fans producing 39.2 dBA, the highest measurement in the group by a decent margin. On the bright side, the 73 will pair with almost all modern Intel sockets, including the 1200, 1151, 1150, 1155, 1156, 1366, 2011, 2011 3, and 2066. This AO also boasts support for AMD's Threadripper platform and matches up with the AMD m TR4, and SDRX4. While this is a stylish cooler with some cool technology and good performance, it's quite expensive. It costs almost twice as much as similarly sized coolers. However, to add more value, NZXD includes a six-year warranty, the best in business. While the LED screen is fantastic and the performance is great as well, the one thing holding this cooler down is its high price. Because of its flashy features, it's much more expensive than other 360 AO coolers. With that being said, if you're looking for a premium cooler and have the money to spend, the Kraken 73 is an excellent all-around cooler. Next at number 9, we have ID Cooling Oraflow X360 Snow. While many AO coolers are dressed in black, the ID Cooling Oraflow X360 Snow comes in vibrant white and with a complete RGB setup. This cooler is incredibly stylish. The glossy white paint job sets it apart from just about every other cooler on the market and looks fantastic. It also features a full complement of RGB, boasting the lights on its pump head and all three of its fans. You will love this AO for its unique design that begs to be shown off. The Auraflow X360 Snow's socket compatibility is also great. It even interfaces with the AMD Threadripper. 
If you're running an Intel 1150, 1151, 1155, 1156, 1366, 2011, or 2066, you'll be all set. On the AMD side of the equation, you'll have support for the AMD FMON, FM2, M12, M12+, M3, M3+, M4, and TR4. The individual components of the Oraflow X360 Snow are all of high quality. Its three 120 fans are sturdy and even feature a small design on each blade. The circular pump head has a large contact plate to accommodate the most powerful processors and is machine smooth. Additionally, its hoses are sleeved and braided to prevent leaking and ensure longevity. While AO cooler installation is often easy, the installation of this cooler is made even easier thanks to the design of the screws. The screws have fewer threads than the screws other coolers use, so less screwdriver work is required. The Oraflow X360 Snow offers some of the best cooling in the 360 AO cooler class. It scored incredibly high on a test performed on an Intel Icefin 7700, cooling the setup to 25 deck at idle and 49 deck under load. It notably outperformed a few 360 Corsair coolers on its way to claiming the top spot in the test. When the machine was overclocked, the Oraflow dropped a few spots but continued to cool in an incredibly efficient manner. The one downside of this cooler is its fan noise. While ID Cooling is known for good cooling performance, they're infamous for louder fans, and the ID Cooling Oraflow X360 Snow is no exception. Altogether, the ID Cooling Oraflow X360 Snow is a great cooler at an amazing price point. Its striking looks will steal the show and are perfect for a showcasing build, while its cooling abilities are some of the best in class. If you're looking for a high-performance 360 AO cooler, the ID Cooling Oraflow X360 Snow is one of the best choices, given its low price tag. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Corsair IQ Hone 150 Elite Capelix. Not only is the Corsair IQ Hone 150 Elite Capelix a great AO cooler that comes with a full RGB setup, but it also features Corsair's Commander Core software that allows you to take full control of your system. First things first, the Corsair IQ Hall 150 Elite Cable X looks stunning. It features the full suite of RGB on its pump head and on all three of its fans. The lights are incredibly vibrant and blend impeccably. Should you decide to customize them, Corsair even includes a swappable faceplate for the pump head so you can subdue the RGB under a black plate. Corsair's IQ software has long been heralded as some of the best AO cooler software on the market, but the Commander Core takes it to the next level. With Commander Core, you'll be able to go even deeper into your PC and monitor your hardware and system management with logging. Of course, you'll still be able to control your AO. As far as socket compatibility goes, the Corsair IQ Hone 150 Elite Capelix interfaces with just about every major CPU on the market. It supports Intel 1200, 1150, 1151, 1155, 1,156, 1,366, 2,011, and 2,066 sockets as well as the AMD M4, M3, M12, SDRX4, and SDR4. This Corsair's cooling abilities are incredibly impressive. It cooled an overclocked Icefin 5930 running at 4.2 GHz to 50.1 deg over ambient under load. It came with 0.5 deck of the cooler Master Master Liquid ML360 and the NZXD Kraken 73, two of the top performing coolers in the 360 class, and outperformed the Cougar Heller 360. If you're looking for some serious cooling performance, the Corsair IQ Hone 150 Elite Capelix is it in spades. However, the Corsair's fans are a bit noisy. It was the loudest cooler in the test at 40.2 dBA, but that's still relatively quiet compared to some other coolers on the list. It's far cry from 60.4 dBA posted by the EVGA CLC 360 AO RGB. Overall, the Corsair IQ Hone 150 Elite Capelix is an excellent cooler. It cools incredibly well while offering some stunning looks, long-lasting build, intuitive software, and a five-year warranty. Yes! It's not the cheapest cooler out there, but for what you pay for, you get a great value. That's all for today. We upload computer and accessories product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.